Today in our 2016 Ford F-150 Super Cab, we're going to be installing the Pace Edwards Full Metal Jackrabbit Tonneau Cover, part number 311-FMF-A06A29. The Full Metal Jackrabbit is a flush mounted tonneau cover designed to keep your truck bed and your gear out of the elements. It's a hard tonneau cover made with a heavy gauge extruded aluminum designed to fit your truck bed. It's easy to operate. It features a single locking latch system. Give it a quick turn to the left and it handles the rest. It has multiple catches along the rails. This is great for partial loads. It's lockable for more security. It can be locked in any position and two keys are included. The rear panel doubles as a handle when used in conjunction with a locking tailgate, your bed is completely secure. The canister only sits inside your truck bed about 11 and a half inches. The rails sit inside of our truck bed about two inches. The included pull strap makes it easy to close from the rear of your truck bed. It features a large seal here at the rear, which is gonna sandwich between our tailgate and keep out water, dirt, and debris. The whole thing is weather resistant, so it's gonna stand up to rust and corrosion, and it features a powder coated finish. Now that we got all the features, I'll go ahead and show you how to get it installed. I've already gone ahead and unpacked all my parts. I found that it was easiest to assemble on the ground. Then we'll get an extra set of hands to help us lift it up into our truck bed. Let's go ahead and install the rails first. To get the rails installed, we'll wanna first turn it over and remove the protective paper. Then we'll wanna make sure that we have the correct rail for the correct side. We're gonna start with the driver's side. We'll need to make sure that the notched out opening here faces forward towards our canister. So we'll start with the rail vertical. I'm gonna rest it on top of that aluminum bracket. Then I'm going to roll it just like this. We'll wanna make sure that the tonneau cover fits within the rail here. Once that's done, we can slide it forward. Now we'll wanna make sure that it stays within the channel. Once it begins sliding, we can push it all the way forward until it overlaps the canister here, just like that. Once the rail is in place, the threaded hole on the underside of the rail will line up with the hole here on the bracket. Then we can take our Phillips head screw. We'll fit it with a lock washer, and then a flat washer, and then we'll get that started. We can go ahead and tighten it down the rest of the way with our screwdriver. Now we want to be sure not to over tighten. All we want to do is flatten out that lock washer. With this side being done, we can go ahead and repeat the same process on the opposite side. Then we'll grab that extra set of hands and we'll set it in place on the back of the truck bed. Just like that. With the assembly and rails in place, we'll need to make sure that they're coming in contact with our tailgate. If they're not, you'll need to slide them back until they are on each side. Now it's time to install our clamps. We're gonna need the rail grip clamp and the pivot arm clamp. We'll install the rail grip clamp first. We'll need to locate the clamp relief on the rail here. That's so we can easily fit it in place. We're gonna put it on in this direction. We'll line up the notches We'll kind of fold it forward. Once it's on the rail, we're gonna slide it until it meets up against the bracket here. So right there. Then we'll take the pivot arm. We're gonna come up behind it and we're gonna align the holes and then put in our hardware. So for this, we're gonna need our bolt, a lock washer, and a flat washer. Once that's hand tight, we can take a wrench. You will have to provide your own. It's 11 millimeter. We'll go ahead and tighten that down. 
Now we want to be sure not to tighten it down too much. Just get it nice and snug. And then we're all set. For the tailgate in, it installs very similar. We'll locate the clamp relief. We'll fit it onto the rail, slide it up against the bracket just the same and install the hardware just the same. Perfect. With this side being done, we can go ahead and repeat the same process on the opposite side. With all the clamps in place, it's time to install the top cover. We'll need to be sure that the side with the brushes is facing inside of our truck bed. Let's go ahead and set it in place. Now we wanna be sure to line up the top holes with the brackets on the inside of our canister. So if we have to, we can even adjust that nut inside the bracket to make it easier to line up our top cover. We'll do one side at a time. Set it over the top. And I'll take the black hardware with the Phillips head screw on top. And go ahead and loosely install that. Then on the opposite side, we'll do the same thing. With both of them in place, we'll then want to take the top cover and push it all the way forward as far as we can go. Then we can tighten both of them down. Now the next step would be to install our drain tubes. They simply snap in place on the underside of our canister. The other end of the hose goes out an access point in our bed. If you don't have one, you may have to drill. For demonstration purposes, we will not be installing these. Our final step is to install our hook and loop adhesive strip. This can be installed anywhere inside your truck bed. It's to help keep our strap out of the way while we're carrying a load. You can see on our strap here, we've got some hook and loop. So it's gonna keep it out of the way just like that. Now we can try it out. I'll grab my pull strap and we'll pull it closed. Make sure my tailgate closes, and I think we're all set. And that's gonna complete our installation of the Pace Edwards Full Metal Jack Rabbit Tunnel Cover, part number 311-FMF A06A29 on our 2016 Ford F-150 Super Cab.